Hey guys, this is Echo Sourx, and you're checking out a quick tip tutorial video for ADSR. In this video, we're gonna I'm gonna show you how you can set up automation inside of Contact. I actually got a few emails, uh, probably within like the last few months or so, asking how to do this. So I thought, hey, maybe it's not uh, extremely common knowledge. So I guess I would show you guys how to do it. So I'm gonna show you two things in this video. I'm gonna show you how to set up automation in contact. So regardless of what DAW you use, Logic, which is what I'm using right now, Live, Pro Tools, whatever, that will be universal. Then I'll also give a little tip and trick for Logic users uh, to get the automation in, log in Logic and in contact a little bit, to make it a little bit quicker and easier. So I have two string situations going on right now. I'll play it for you real quick. All right, you get the idea. So this is coming from Cinematic Strings. I have an instance of Valhalla uh, Room Reverb on this. So uh, to get the automation to actually happen inside of Contact, it's going to be different depending on what Contact library you're using. We'll touch on that later. But with a library that's not made by native instruments, for the most part, the automation isn't set up. And by set up, what I mean by that is it's not assigned to anything in the GUI or the user interface of the contact library. You get to do that yourself. So if we go to, if you're a Logic user, this will make sense to you. If I hit A, this opens up my automation lanes. And if I go to, for instance, the Valhalla Room Reverb, we'll get things that make sense like decay, mix, pre-delay, right? And then I select that and then the automation line is going to control that parameter within that plugin. Well, with contact, you just get a bunch of weird numbers. So, like I said, depending on the library that you're using, more often than not, it's not set up. You have to do that yourself. So let's say I want to automate the uh, release, or let's just do, let's just do for sake of ease, let's do hall reverb on this sound. Uh, what you do here is you'd go to auto for automation, and we'll do 001. We'll click, hold, drag, and drop on this, and that'll say hall reverb full ensemble. So now when I go to this automation lane, It'll still say, uh, if we go down here, it'll still say the weird numbers, right? Nothing has actually been assigned. Well, if I go all the way to the dang bottom, which I have to go all the way to number 511, then I get the reverb. Kind of a pain in the ass, in my opinion. Um, it's not that easy to do, right? Because you have to scroll all the way down. But what? It, let's say I wanted to automate some uh, more reverb here at the at the ends of the phrases like so. Well, now I'm doing that. Right, you can hear that there's more reverb happening. And if we open up our contact interface, this will actually uh, show as well. So if, we, if I play this one more time, you saw the hall reverb move. So that's how you can do it. That's how you can set it up. Well, to save yourself the trouble of having to go through and find everything, this is the kind of quick tip for the Logic users out there. What you can do is, let's say we wanted to automate the high and low now. So go to 002, drag and drop. So this will be the playing position, not something you typically want to automate real time, but let's just say we want to do that. So here's what we can do. Instead of going into this automation list and going down all the way down forever, what you can do now that we've assigned it, you can just set your your uh, automation mode to touch. And now we can open up contact. And let's say we want to change on the second chord the position. All right, we just did that. And you can see here, that we have the uh, contact playing position. So that's a quicker way to get to it in Logic. If you're enabled in Live User, that won't really be applicable because you guys have those cool automation lanes that you just open, touch, and you're going. So that's how you set up automation inside of Contact. So let's actually uh, mute this track now. Actually, I'm just going to delete it. All right, so let's look at this other library. Now this library comes, uh, it's made, it doesn't come with, but it's made by Native Instruments. So if we 
go to the Auto tab for Automation, everything's already set up. So if I go to my contact, if I drop down and go to contact, we still just have all these weird numbers for the for the most part. Well, let's keep scrolling. I'm going to keep scrolling. Takes forever. Let's see what we got going on down here. So I'm already in the 300s, and we're going to see if the four or 500s, we actually get to the automation names, and we don't, right? It's just all random stuff. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So literally, I had to go all the way down to 511 to find these, but they are pretty much set up. Well, you don't have to use these. You can assign any one that you want. You can reassign this to anything that you like just by dragging and dropping. But again, if you're a logic user, the easiest way, if it's with a library that's made by Native Instruments, these are usually set up. The easiest way is to pop this into uh, re uh, touch mode. So it's in touch mode. And let's say I want to automate the expression. I'm just going to assign this to a random one. I'm going to do 58 over expression. Now it says expression. So what I can do now, instead of scrolling through that long, long list, just hit play and move this. And now I have my, ex my expression pulled up. So I can hit escape on my keyboard, grab the eraser tool, and just erase some of these points. And now I have a actual line. I didn't have to scroll and sit through over 600 different uh, selections, potential selections for automation. So here is the expression. So let's say if I wanted, I wanted the expression to move up uh, as the sound played or as the chord progressed, this is what we have going on right now. Right, so then I, I can turn touch off, change it to read. So that was the touch mode. Here's the read mode. Uh, I wouldn't keep it in touch personally. I just use the touch to actually get the uh, the automation there. I, I typically will do back in read mode when I want to actually edit it. There you guys go. That is the easiest and quickest way to set up automation inside of a Native Instruments contact. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I am Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.